birthday celebrations, as we know them today, are a blend of ancient customs, religious influences, and evolving social norms. Here's a deeper look at how birthdays developed from exclusive rituals into widespread personal celebrations, and how gender shaped who got to celebrate. Ancient Beginnings and Rituals Ancient Egypt, 3000 BCE, the earliest recorded birthday celebrations weren't for everyday individuals but for pharaohs, who were considered gods in human form. Egyptians celebrated the birth of pharaohs not at birth but at their ascension, marking a divine transformation. Commoners' birthdays were rarely celebrated, and women, even those of high status, were excluded from these events. Ancient Greece inspired by the Egyptian tradition, the Greeks began observing birthdays, but they dedicated these celebrations to gods and goddesses rather than mortal individuals. For example, they honored Artemis, goddess of the moon, by lighting candles on cakes to emulate the glow of the moon. These celebrations centered around deities rather than common people and were accessible to a select, often male-dominated, elite. Ancient Rome Romans expanded the idea of birthday celebrations to include ordinary people, especially men of high rank, such as political leaders or wealthy citizens. Men's birthdays were celebrated with feasts, music, and gifts, a tradition that didn't extend to women or children. This was largely due to societal views of women as domestic figures, and their birthdays remained largely uncelebrated. The Influence of Christianity and Medieval Europe Early Christianity With Christianity's rise, birthday celebrations faced scrutiny. Early Christians believed celebrating individual birthdays was pagan and self-centered since early birthday customs were often rooted in honoring gods or astrological significance. Christian figures' days of death, rather than their birth, were observed, seen as a more spiritual rebirth. Medieval Europe, 5th to 12th centuries, during the Middle Ages, birthday celebrations were mainly limited to male royalty and nobility, often in line with political and religious observances. Women's birthdays remained largely ignored, though high-born women might receive acknowledgement in rare instances. Women's celebrations emerge, 12th century onward, slowly, customs softened, and in aristocratic circles, some women's birthdays began to be acknowledged, especially within families of noble rank. These were generally modest compared to men's, often focusing on domestic celebrations with family rather than public or grand feasts. Enlightenment and Industrial Influence, 17th to 19th Centuries 17th and 18th centuries by the Enlightenment period, the concept of individual importance gained traction, and birthday celebrations began spreading among all family members, including women and children. The growing idea of personal identity led to birthdays as celebrations of the individual's life and contributions. 19th century and Victorian era The Victorian era popularized the idea of family-centric birthday celebrations, and it was during this time that birthday parties for children became common. Middle and upper-class women in Europe and America saw more birthday recognition, usually with tea parties or small gatherings. With industrialization making goods more accessible, cakes, gifts, and decorations became part of the experience for everyone, democratizing birthdays as an inclusive family affair. Modern Birthday Celebrations, 20th Century to Present 20th century onward by the early 20th century, birthday celebrations for both men and women were widely accepted, with cultural shifts supporting equal recognition. Mass production made birthday cards, gifts, and candles affordable, and birthday parties became a mainstream practice across all social classes and genders. Women's birthdays are now celebrated with the same enthusiasm and acknowledgement as men's, making birthdays universally accessible expressions of appreciation, joy, and the passage of life. Today's birthdays are uniquely personalized, drawing on diverse traditions to honor the individual regardless of age, gender, or background. 